Okay, today for this lesson, what I'd like to do is I would like to do a small lesson that will allow us to learn a little bit about Adobe Spark. And I thought since um, Election Day is on Tuesday, that we might do a social media post to get out the vote. And so let's, that's where we're going to get started. So um, you can always um, select these presets here, or you can go like with a custom size, but I will do a f Facebook post. So I'm going to click on that. And that will give me the size that I need for a Facebook post. And it looks like they have some new features for animations and we maybe we'll try that. Um, so what I want to do first is I want to maybe click on a layout and I thought I might pick uh, a layout like this, a banner layout, because I kind of like the look of that. I want to change this color though. I want it to be very like, um, um, very election red and blue. So you can see the opacity, it looks kind of orange and I changed the opacity up, it looks more red. So that's, that's correct. Um, I think I want to go ahead and add my um, text. To do that, I'm going to click on the add button. I can add text right here. I'm going to add my own text. And I think I'm going to use some um, rock the vote. I'm going to use that for my slogan. So I've got rock the vote there and I obviously don't like those fonts and colors. So I'm going to try some other um, fonts, see what I like. And, you know, they've got lots of choices here. So you can kind of look through this and figure out what you like. I was thinking something somewhat bold because I want people to see my post. And if it's not bold, here, that's, this is the one I like. It's pretty bold. It's pretty good. I don't like the colors. Let's do this and change that colors. And I don't like the, the spacing here, but I think I'm going to keep it on one line. So I'm not worried about that spacing or I could change the spacing or I could change the letter spacing. I want to make it longer. I could, but I think this is fine. Um, also, um, <clears throat> I might want to change like the color and I don't like these colors. I'm definitely going to change these, but what if I did this or I could do something else. So if I wanted to, I could click on that and change the colors. So for the red here, I'm going to change to a nice blue because we want red, white, and blue for our colors. Okay, so that's that's pretty good. We have um, red, white, and blue. I thought also I'd take, get my own picture, so I want to put a picture in here. And if I click on Add, I can add a photo. And um, <clears throat> I have a photo that I downloaded. It's of Uncle Sam. Let's see if I can. There it is right there. We all know who Uncle Sam is, right? And there he is right there. I can make it a little bit bigger. There's some cool things I can do with this. If I want to like remove um, the background, all I have to do is click on this. It'll take the white out, which is really nice. But what I wanted to do is I want to put it in a, a shape. I wanted to put it in a circular shape. And that's what I think I'm going to do there. But I want to make that picture a little bit bigger. So I'm going to make the picture a little bit bigger, but leave it in that shape and position it just right. Okay, that's what I wanted. Um, you know, but I'm not sure that's exactly what I want. Maybe I need to do this again and maybe make that a little bit, maybe make it a little bit bigger. If I don't like it, I can always change the size. Okay. And I could just change the size here if I want to. But, you know, maybe I want to make this nice and big, you know, and you have to kind of just fool around, you know, with the sizing. If I do that, I'm going to have to make this smaller, obviously. I really don't want it to be on two lines. So I may have to make the size a little smaller. I want to be on one line. Okay, let's see what we got here. Again, I don't know with this color. I, I thought I had white in the background here. So let me go to color and I want to change the color. So we want the white to be white and save because it looked a little bit yellow. Maybe it still looks a little yellow to me. Okay, 
So I've got rock the vote in there, but I want to put something else in there. And I've got an idea. I want to add some more text. I don't want to make it too busy. Um, but I want to put be smart and do your part. Okay, and I don't want it in this font for sure. Um, so I want to try some different fonts and see what I like. I think I also want it on one line. Maybe I need to make the size a little smaller and then make this a little longer. I want it to be on one line and I don't want these colors for sure. And so I want to change the color and then I'll have this be white. And I think that's okay. Maybe I could go with a black. No, I don't want to do that. White. This I might want to go with black. Okay, and I can make this a little bit bigger. I thought I might add a little image here. Maybe a little icon. And I want to do like a um, check mark. Whoops. Okay, and I kind of like this one right here. Let's see about that. I don't, I don't like the color. Let's change that. Let's get black. Okay, so what else do I want to do? Maybe what I want to do is pull this down a little bit more. Pull that down a little bit more. Let's get Uncle Sam down here a bit. Maybe we can move him right out here. Maybe I should make him a little bit bigger. So I can pull him right over here. And then maybe pull this down, center that. Bring this down a little bit and maybe make that even. Okay. Well, that's pretty good, but I think we need more to it. We don't want to overwhelm it, but also we want it to stand out. So we've got to figure out how we want to do that. How do we make it stand out, but not be overwhelming? Um, and there's lots of ways we can do it. Maybe I can make this size a little bit bigger. Maybe I should put it centered. Okay. Um, so I thought that what we do is we would do animation. So let's go to the animation and try some of these. Well, that's kind of interesting. And I can just try each of these and see what I like. Okay. I think it would be better if I had the top go first. Let's see about fade. Okay. Um, let's see about slide here. Let's see what we got. I'm thinking. So I don't know how we can take this here and not do animation with that. I just do animation with this. I'm not sure it, it works that way. So I think you kind of, I wish we could just select one part to animate and, you know, I would select that to animate. So I'm not sure I can do that. Okay, well, what I could do then is maybe I can move, if this is the way the animation goes, let's do this. Let's move these pieces up here and bring this down. And maybe it would look okay. Because it looks a little bit weird to me if um, 
the rock the vote comes in first. So let's go back to animation here and let's try it. So let's try this. Okay, I like I like the order better on that. Okay, I kind of like that. I, I feel better about that. And I think it does a pretty good job. It's pretty simple, but it gets your attention. We have red, white, and blue. We have an image in here. We have a little icon. So I'm okay with that. So now that we're done, we can download this and we can download it as a video. I can start the download there. Or I can just download it as an image. If I don't have any animation, it, I can just download it as an image. And um, that works um, pretty well too. So once I have it downloaded, I can just take this, this uh, video and then I can post it. Or again, if it's a picture, I can just uh, take that download of a picture and post that also. And it should be just the right size. So when you're doing this, a couple things I want you to think about. First of all, make it inviting and interesting to look at. Also, um, make sure that it's simple, simple enough that it doesn't take a lot to read it. You get the, you get the idea right away. Um, and you want to make it, you know, cool so people will look at it. If it's not cool, they're just going to pass it right by. So make sure that it, it looks cool. Um, so visually appealing, cool to look at, has the right message, nice and simple, has some artwork. You notice I'm using a lot of the rules that we learned. And you see I've got like overlapping and I've got a, um, a dominant object that catches your attention right away, a focal point. Um, I've kept it fairly simple. So everything is aligned to something else. So that's it for this video. Go ahead and make your um, social media post and rock that vote. I'll see you guys next time.